welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm, like I said, I, uh, that seat video was taking a little bit longer and uh, I really don't think that video turned out that great, but um, we're gonna get back into it with the, uh, start to recover the front seats and see how that goes. It's been a week since I took them seats apart. I wanted to, before I did my ordering, I wanted to make sure that the foam was good enough. So, uh, yeah, so it's been a week. I, I did get the upholstery in. So now I'm gonna start to uh, redoing these seats, finish them, finish, finishing them. Plan on doing the front seats, see how this all goes. I got hog rings, I got hog ring pliers, and uh, yeah, let, let's let's get involved in this together and just see how this all goes. Now, this is my first attempt ever at trying to, to do seats. I've always taken my seats into a place and uh, had them done, but this guy has since retired and uh, I really think that that knowing these cars from top to bottom, every process, that's kind of where I'm at. I want to be able to, I'm done buying new cars. I'm not, I'm not going to buy the, I got a 2015 F-150. That's the last new vehicle right now that I think that I'll ever own. Um, I want to be able to rebuild a vehicle from uh, every aspect. So I can do body work. I can do a lot of engine work. I can't do, I've never, well, I can't say I've never rebuilt engines because I have. But, uh, you know, when it comes into pressing in cam bearings, and stuff like that. Machining, I've never done any machining. Uh, and I believe me, I don't have the money to get into machining, but uh, I just wanna be able to, any vehicle that I'm driving, I wanna know that I can totally rebuild this vehicle, whatever it takes. I can't do that with my 2015 F-150. There's way too many electronics involved in that and you know I have a 98 GMC 98 99 I'm not sure it's right there uh it's got a lot of electronics also but in the same aspect I can turn that thing into a carbureted vehicle and if I, if I needed to, if I, I could do a whole computer delete other than the transmission, but you can buy all the stuff to kind of fix that over to, you know, you need a throttle positioning sensor. They actually make one that goes on a carburetor. So in the grand scheme of things, I can rebuild that pickup all the way through. No matter what happens to that pickup, I can rebuild it. So that's why I'm wanting to attempt this uh, interior stuff, I guess. I, I want to know how to do it. You know, I know the general process of it. And so, yeah, I'm going to try to figure it out. I'm going to bring you guys along with me and we'll see how it goes. So here's the seats themselves. If you look inside here, I mean, they got the burlap back. Um, this is nice. The stitching on it is very nice. These are, they're going to get dirty. This, my shop is not the cleanest. But anyway, this is very nice. Here is the old stuff. They have the same type of backing in here. 
And then the burlap, this is like a bur, almost like a burlap sack thing. Same thing, so the, the quality of these are really, really good, which is excellent. All right, here I'm working on these screws are, and they're so tight, or this one actually looks almost cross-threaded, but I cannot get them out with a regular screwdriver. I tried, so I'm going to try a vice grips here and see if I can get it to turn, which you know it's not wanting to. Keep slipping off there sideways for some reason. There we go. Wow. Here we go, it's coming out now. <clears throat> Obviously these side pieces had been broken over the years and, well, there's one of the side pieces here. I think it actually is from the bottom, but yeah, they're broken. So they need to be replaced also. Uh, but that didn't take too long, but that was the first step. On redoing these now I guess I just start here at the top and kind of work my way down I, I don't know this foam that's on these seats it's so old that they really have to be gentle um, You think, man, this would be just simple, but it's, it's not as simple as it seems. But I had a guy tell me, just don't plan on taking them straight out of the box and they're gonna just go right on. And you know, he may be right because They may need to be warm. He said, set them out in the sun. Let them warm up. Get them pliable. is almost a two-man job. doing this one though it does seem to be going and up putting the other ones on my black pickup for a little bit but I'm just kind of actually warm up. Maybe that would be a little better.
but I can see this whole thing needs to rotate a little bit. Well, I may have to take it back off, which I really don't want to have to do. But it, it's not straight. Okay, so this is the first one on. Uh, that's how it's starting to look. Obviously, it needs to be stretched some more. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this out in the sun, let this warm up a little bit. Then come back in, and once it's warmed up, I'm going to take and try to get it to kind of straighten in the spots it needs to straighten. And then I'll start using the hog ring pliers. But actually, that didn't seem to go too bad. So I'm going to go set it out in the sun. Working on these seats, sure do make a mess. I also thought of something else I forgot. This cardboard piece that goes in the back of the seats themselves. So um, I'm going to see if I can feed that back up through there once I'm done. Before, because I haven't put any snap rings on, I'm kind of letting everything sit out in the sun a little bit. So let's get to trying on this next one, and I think I'll put this on first. And see if this works. Not really sure how this was. I believe that these were like taped. But I'm not really. I know it was taped here and here. Maybe there, there, I don't believe there was anything on where these holes are. So I guess what they did was they put a piece of tape around here and a piece of tape around here to hold them in place. And I am... But they do fit in underneath these. There's some, well here. There's some metal pieces that come down and kind of hold that up a little bit too. I don't know if I should try to tape that or or what I should do, but uh, anyway, let's uh, let's start here with these screws again and get these out. And that plastic does not want to come out of there. Maybe I can get a hold of that without. Plastic. For being broken plastic, it really does not want to cooperate. I think, I think I'm getting it though. Screwdriver. Well, this one is actually that one actually I got it to move so it decided it was it would come out. Let's see what this one does. Yep, it's coming out too. So perfect. Got those two loose. All right, let's stand this thing back up. Let it have you. Let's see, this is already starting to fall out. I don't know. Oops. So get underneath there. This one here. So under, like that. 
My guess is that's not gonna stay, but I guess we'll see. Huh, probably should just tape it like they did. Well, this one's been sitting out in the sun a little bit. Let's see if it goes on a little easier, which I really didn't think the other one went on all that hard. Be honest with you. Uh, watch this one make a liar out of me and go on even harder. Once you get it kind of started. Forth, working it down. Look at that, that piece is actually staying there. I really don't want to have to take that other one apart just to get that piece out. There we go. It's starting to look like something's happening here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Remind me again why I do this? Oh yeah, it's for the love of these old cars. That's why I do it. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna take this out, let this set in the sun some more. Start working on the bottom.
to be able to sit out here in the sun. I ended up moving everything out here to my pickup. It was easy to work on. Uh, but, uh, Alright, here's what they look like. And I think instead of using that old wire, I'm just going to use my own wire and put a, this one here and build it so I put some wire in there. I'm just going to let these kind of get softened up a little bit, start stretching them. And I think I got to fix this here. This just doesn't look right. I think that's bent right there. I think that one's bent just a little bit. Anyway, I think these are going to look pretty nice. Well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. <clears throat> I tried to have a little bit more interaction and I kind of noticed that um, on the original front seat video, I kind of just got away from that a little bit so uh anyway if you like what i'm doing please uh like and subscribe uh, maybe share my videos till next time y'all be safe